something. Hey, y'all. Happy Friday. I hope it was a money-making Friday or a feisty Friday. One of the... One of the two. Hey, boo, hey, you better heart me up or whatever. Y'all know I had to come in with my ratchet music, right? Tell me how your Friday was. He said he had a standoff. I don't want to fight nobody. Hey, digging this cuddlefoot. Hey, y'all. Hey. TGIF. Happy Friday or whatever. Hey, everybody. Listening to trap music. What's going on, Deacon? Is perfect. What are you working at now? Y'all, I think I'm getting a. Little... I got the Deacon is at the club, y'all. Late night. Y'all, I got the Deacon is uh. Hey, boo! I know, right? It's the lipstick in the boxes for me. Yo, I got the deacon is like she dodging. She dodging bullets. She was like, I ain't come out to fight tonight. Hey, Kiara! I got one of my daughters on here. Hey, boo! Hey. Repping the ATL. Smart chocolate girl style. Hey, honey. How is school? So we're going to listen to some... um, Mr. Feeney, how are you? I love it. You know that's my name, Regal Essence. Regal Essence or whatever. I had to get official, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I gotta start trademarking my shit because bitches be biting. Bitches be biting. They don't even want to give me credit. They don't even want to give me my props, y'all. They just only want to, um, you know, people be talking shit about shit they don't even know. Hey, hey, y'all. Hey. So, are you home on break or you at school? Pooh is in New York. I just. I just got off the phone with Pootie for like almost two hours. We had to have our two-hour uh, conversation. Hey, y'all. What y'all want to talk about? I'm so mad. What y'all want to talk about on this Friday? Because they got wild last time we was here. They was talking about everything. They had me talk about three sons. We was talking about everything under the kitchen sink. So, daughter, how was the 18? Did you even get a chance to party? Oh, okay. So you, let me find out. So you not in school, you just live in an ATL. People just be so fancy and grown and gorgeous or whatever. That's one song. That sound like me, right? Go somewhere for one reason. Plans change, right? Plans change. So we just, you know, we make the best out of it. I need to know how many people was booed up today. Or how many people is booed up tonight? He said, we going to get it in the shower. So get that thing tootie booty. Tootie booty. I need to know if you say tootie booty. And I need to know who is, uh, I need to know who's booed up. I need to know how many men refer to their woman's ass as the tootie booty. 
Okay, good. Well, just live your life, daughter. Live your life. I love it. I love it. I am so very, very proud. So you know, like, people like me, your mom, like, we pay, you know, we pay our dues so that our kids don't have it as hard as we do. So, like, I am so excited when I see y'all living your life. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all deserve it, you know? Like, those that come before, we should pave the way. And we should be making it easier for those that's coming up behind us, right? So that's why I get on here um, so that I can be a light in the dark, you know? So, speaking of which, why don't we burn some sage, why don't we? Um, so, yeah, so I get on here and I come in the name of the Most High. I come in the name of the Most High God, right? You got to be clear, you got to be clear these days because a lot of people is into a lot of different things. And I just wanted to be clear, right? She's an earth angel. She's on assignment from the most high. Um, I am an awakened soul and I am here to wake y'all up as well. It's the Friday check-in. It's Queen TV after dark. Coming to see how my people is trying to like my sage. I need a uh yo, y'all need to donate. I need a um what's that thing? I need the long john. <laughs> Two of them. But one to like my <laughs> one of them needs to like my sage. <laughs> hey y'all, Harvey Austin! What y'all getting into on this Friday? This Friday night. Yes, daughter, of course. And I'm so glad you came on here. So I can be keeping you in prayer all up in the ATL. But yes, I am very, very proud of you. I am as proud. Hey, y'all, hey. It's the Friday check-in. We gonna burn a little sage. Because sage, um, it helps clear out negative energies. It clears out your uh, space. It clears out your, your aura, your energy. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes we're around negative energies or we have negative energies thrown at us. And you guys, we got to make sure that we are protecting ourselves, right? Hey, Mojo! We got to make sure we spiritually protecting ourselves. Like, we out here, we having fun. We living our best life, but... It, we are also living a very spiritual experience, and I don't want anybody to miss out on um, what God has for them. Um, so I am here to be a light and a dark and encourage you guys, you know what I'm saying, to be living your very best life, an abundant life, right? Because if we want to be here, we may as well be happy. So I do not ascribe to uh, toxicity and dealing with toxic people and all of that. Queen TV is here to uh, normalize healthy relationships. So I come in, I hang out with y'all on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays between 8 and 9. I don't know, between 8 and 9. And I come on here to hang out with y'all to connect with tribe. And we can talk about some relationship stuff, or we can talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. But, um, yeah, you guys. So, when y'all come on here, you know, share the video. Um, all my videos are also on YouTube. Hey, boo, hey. Hey, daughter. I got to get with you before this weekend is over so I can give you your stuff. Hey, honey. Hey, everybody that came in here to hang out with me. Hurt me up or whatever. Let me know how your Friday was. This is just a little Friday check-in. You know what I'm saying? Y'all love me so much. Y'all had me on the live two, three hours. Loving the tippy. Just loving the tippy. So I appreciate it. So it is the Friday check-in. I just came to check on y'all, see what's going on. Uh, I hope y'all had a money-making Friday. 
or Frisky Friday, one of the two, or both. You know what I'm saying? Frisky and money making. You know. And for those of y'all that's uh booed up, shout out, shout out, shout out to the lovers. Play some key sweat for y'all. Hey boo, hey, hey everybody. How was y'all Friday? Talk to me, but talk to me nice. Hey, 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 Mr. Griffin. Yo, why you, Mr. Griffin, I gotta get to know you a little better. You always requesting to be on my thing. You always requesting to come on the, uh, on the camera, but I gotta get to know you a little bit better, Mr. Griffin. Well, you know, you gotta heart me up or whatever, child. But I be trying, you know. I was talking to my daughter today, and I was like, "Yo, you know what? We make stuff like way, we make stuff way harder than than we have to." And um, of course, she was talking. And I, you know, I ain't care. I was long as you talking, I'm fine. But she was like going into all of this and that, you know, with her friends and stuff. And I'm just like, why don't y'all just ask the questions that need to be asked to get to the to the bottom of the of the of the real issue at hand. You know what I'm saying? Like, we spend so much time and energy being upset about shit that we could just have a conversation about. I'm like, you can spend 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes having a conversation about an issue and be done with it. Or, you could be all bottled up about it, mad, salty, motherfucking salty dog, just salty, and you walking around mad for days, weeks, you know what I mean? And it's just like, just have the conversation. But I don't think we trust ourselves. I don't think we trust our communication skills. And we should. And uh, I don't think we was raised to feel as if communication is healthy. Like, people act like they're scared of uh, communicating. But y'all, we would get down to the bottom of the issue so much quicker. Just ask the question. Have a conversation and be done with the shit. You know? So, um, yeah, you guys, I just want to encourage you guys to, uh, have those hard conversations, shit. Be done with it. Like, we need to get free. We be walking around, we be bound up, stressed out, um, anxiety, telling ourselves all these negative stories, when all we gotta do is just, like, get down to the nitty gritty. Like, what's the real deal? Like, what's the real motherfucking issue? You know what I'm saying? Just ask the question, you know? Hey, y'all, hey, for everybody that came in here. What y'all want to talk about? I can make it a Friday check-in. Like, hey, y'all, hey. Um, or we can get into some shit. I don't know. I don't know. How y'all feeling? Somebody said it was their birthday. I don't, ooh, I don't even remember his name. But, yeah, I see y'all all up in here. Tell me what's good. Drop me some horns. Hurt me up or whatever. What y'all got planned for the weekend? I'm so happy we about to be off of uh, punishment. We about to be off punishment, y'all. But I know one thing. I'm like real, real sick of these masks. Like, trying to talk is, is annoying. And I got to talk all day. You better hurt me up or whatever. Yes. And I have to talk all day. I'm just like, oh, my God. It's just natural for me to want to take it off my face. She's like, can you come? I'm just like, oh, I'm over it. I'm, I'm, I'm over it. And then every time I go out, my nose be burning. I'm like, what the heck is going on in the world? So, um, thank you, Mr. Todd. I love y'all too. I love you too. Y'all are so funny. Y'all are funny. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. What's going on, Mel Joe? What is going on in, in you still in Pittsburgh? What's going on in your neck of the woods? I'm out here in Philly, you know, just representing. I'm out here in Philly. So yeah, you guys. So I hope you guys had an amazing Friday. Um, I was a little quick, little chick. Quick little check in. See what's up with my pants. What y'all do on a Friday when we like half 
It's like half quarantine, half not. We like halfway on. Like, you, how many of y'all got put on punishment, right? But the damn punishment was so severe, you had to like serve that John in like two parts. Like the first part was this, and then it got reduced down to. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of how I feel. Like, we kind of like off punishment, but we kind of like one foot on and one foot off. Like, if you do one more thing, that's it. That's kind of how I feel. But I cannot wait. Um, I cannot wait till the city is over back up. But I cannot believe we are in mass. I, I don't know if it's just me or does anybody else just be like, I can't believe this is life. I still be like, I can't believe this is life. And I be like, I can tell I've been in the house for like a year. Because I ain't with none of this shit. I'm not with none of this shit. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I couldn't believe. I don't know who. I can't remember who it was. Was on here last night. Anytime somebody say Pittsburgh, I'm like, what? And then not only did you say Pittsburgh, you said Homewood and Wilkinsburg. I said, oh, that's the real Pittsburgh. Cause you know sometimes people be claiming like the big city, but really they live out in our uh, boonies. Like, oh yeah, I'm from Pittsburgh. You be like, where you live, Aliquippa? That is not Pittsburgh, but okay. You had to heart me up, daughter. So what you been doing since you got back? And how? You know what, boo? I did not know that. Um, I didn't know y'all were driving down. So was it, um, do you feel like y'all got back quicker than, um, going? Y'all, I can't do the long road trips. Like, no, thank you. I rather, um, I would rather fly or take the train. I'm not really with the, uh, you, well, you know what? I guess it depends, right? So, like, if I'm booed up. If I'm booed up, I can do... But you know what? I still don't want to... I still really don't want to be driving no longer than maybe like... Eight hours tops. <laughs> if it takes longer than eight hours, we need to just uh, fly there. Fly there. Because I start getting... Uh, car sick, cabin fever... If I smoke, I can, I'm sure I can do eight hours, but that's my, that's max tops. I remember, yo, and it's crazy because it's like we grow up and the shit that we did when we was young, we don't do that shit no more. You be like, I never, when I used to drive eight hours to go see my boyfriend up East Jabumbum when he was in ex Carnerary jail, like... Yo, I was fucking ride or die. I ain't that bitch no more. I'm ride or die, but I ain't ride or die. I, yo, I was like ride or die ruthless back in the day. I'm ride or die now, but I be like, let me see what the plans is. Can we talk about this? Whereas when I was young, y'all know that mean to be like, um, it say something and it's like this cat. And it'd be like, get in, and then the person be like, um, where are we going, or why, or something like that. And then the meme be like, uh, I'll let you know when we get to jail, or something like that. Or I'll let you know when we get booked, or something like that. I was like, I used to be to her. Now I'll be like, wait, I need to know what the plans are. Now I'm not saying that I'm not flexible or adventurous, but I need to know what the plans are. I need, a, I need the blueprint. Because motherfuckers be out here playing with your goddamn um, life. Playing with your goddamn life. Um, we got to be clear. Let's be clear here. That's like one of my favorite things to say. What you say, daughter? Yup. Child, we need to quit being afraid. Because I feel, I look at it like this. Like, when it's our time to go, it's going to be our time to go. Now, I don't, now, trust to believe, there are certain things that I am, you know, afraid of. But, um, I'm not going to inconvenience my life over fear. That's for sure. Let's talk about that shit. I'm not inconveniencing my life over fear. So, you know what? I'm going to dime this. Oh, look at my son. 
Yo, my, my son show off. So my son, bless his soul, sending out love and light and protection. But um, let me just brag on him for a moment. So my son is a young buck, right? Compared to us. He's 22. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. So he in Cali. He is in Cali. He youngin. He a baby. But um he is all about his woman, y'all. He texted me, so I know he he's um he's out Cali working. So like normally when he's away, like we talk or whatever, but we don't get into like our deep discussions until he home. So he's sending me this long text. But yeah, like I um just going to brag on my son for a minute. And eventually, soon I'm going to be doing an interview with him. But um, I just love the fact that he love on his woman. Like, he just be like, yo, when this money hit, like she don't got to work. She don't got to. Hey, the name they want on the microphone. Uh-uh. So yeah, like he cannot wait. He cannot wait to spoil her. But even now, like, I just be looking at my kids in amazement. Like, yo, at 22, I was working a job. I was, I was struggling. What did I say? I was struggling. Yeah, I was struggling. I feel like I was, yeah. But, um, but just to be able to see, uh, the life that I manifested for my kids. Because there were certain things that I spoke over their life that I wanted, um, that I wanted for them. And I continue to speak those things over their lives. And I actually see those things coming into fruition. And I love it. So, um, so yeah, he is amazing. He is an amazing uh, boyfriend. Um, yeah, and that's his wife. And he spoils her rotten. So, he out um, traveling, video, you know. Uh, I ain't going to give his location. I'm not going to give his exact location. But wherever he, I'll put it like this. Wherever he goes, she goes. And I just love that shit. Like, I don't love it. She don't have to worry about nothing. She don't got to pay for nothing. And, you know, he be doing that big. So, yeah, so shout out to my son. Na, 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 my star seed. So, yeah. Hey, Mr. Davis. But, yeah, so this is just a Friday check-in. Uh -uh. Sprinkle some love and light on y'all timeline. Um... And encourage you guys to be courageous because we are not what we ain't doing in 2021 is we are not inconveniencing our life out of fear, right? And I also want to send out, you know, just light and positive vibes for those who have maybe found themselves in a cycle that causes you to be stagnant, right? Because we talked about toxic people the other night and we just talked about how, um, they can get into our mental, they can get into our energy field, and they can just really cause us to be um, stagnant at times in our lives that we should be moving forward and we should be progressive. So, you know, we just want to send a special prayer out to um, those that are closing out very tough cycles in their lives. Um, and it's everywhere. You know, you see it everywhere. I was talking to my daughter. She was like, you know, we haven't really been hanging out like her friends like they're isolated or whatever so we're all kind of going through um an awakening um so it's causing a lot of us to kind of like go within and just kind of like figure out what the fuck is going on with us but um i'm gonna let you know you are um <laughs> that's my son y'all um so Dang, he made me lose my train of thought. I never lose my train of thought. So, um, special prayer to those who may be finding themselves in a, um, cycle of stagnation, right? So, um, I pray that your <laughs> exit strategy would be on point, whatever that looks like. We are all going through our own stuff, right? 
we're all going through our own shit. We all going through um, different things. So I always encourage you guys, be kind to each other. We need to be kind to each other. Um, because we all, we all got a story. We all got a struggle. Hi. So, anybody under the sound of my voice, I am sending you love and light. Even though who don't, may not have my best interest at heart, I still wish you love and light and healing and all of that. Because um, we talked about the other night how um, people are like quick to be like toxic and toxic and toxic. And we throw the word toxic around. But really toxic just means that we haven't healed from things that hurt us in the past. We haven't healed from our traumas, things of that nature. Um, uh. Aww. I'm looking at my phone because my son is texting me. He is sending me stuff so um so yeah you guys so i just want you guys to be courageous if you find that you are um you know kind of like stuck in a situation and it just ain't working for you like i really 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 want to encourage you guys to um ask for help you know what i mean like allow your friends to help you friends family but um don't just stay and uh suffer who's trying to come on my thing Mm, 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 mm. Pinch man, I don't know. Hey, Pinch man. Hey, Pinch man. Yo, I can't be bringing y'all on my camera if I don't know what y'all going to say. But hey, boo, hey. Yo, we need some hype music. Pop smoke playlist. But, um, yeah, you guys, so I just want y'all to be courageous and, uh, oh, sorry, y'all, my son is going off. I just want y'all to be courageous and amazing <laughs> or whatever. So we about to do some pop smoke. So what y'all getting into Friday? Y'all home or y'all on y'all way out? I'm to the Billy. I'm Billy Gina for y'all. So tell me what y'all doing. Y'all on y'all way out or y'all uh y'all in the house? Boot up. Tell me all about it. Yeah, daughter. How long um how long did it take y'all to get there? I think you took a day where you rested, right? Where y'all kind of like stopped and then got back on the road or whatever. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to be interviewing my son. I'll be interviewing my son soon. So he dropped the EP. So like an EP is like, a, um, he is, um, he dropped the EP because he has, y'all, he got so much music, it's regardless. Hey, Pitchman! I see you trying to come on my camera. I'm scared. Mojo in the house, chilling. Mojo, are you still with who you was with for like a long, 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 long time? Last time when I was still living in Pittsburgh. Oh, whatever. You know, I'm just chilling. Pinch me. I'm just chilling or whatever. Oh, you know what I want to hear? Six Black and T-Pain. So somebody told me to pay up them, them panties. That joint is sexy. But I was like, yo, I need a damn cigar. Oh. I'm always piped up. What's up with you? What you getting into? Are you in Philly or are you somewhere else? I might have asked you that before. I might have asked you that before. Six Black Playlist. Getting that from YouTube. Six black playlist. But yeah, you guys, I'm happy it's Friday because a nigga is tired. Mm -mm. <laughs> Y'all not ready. Y'all 
is not ready for the major red and the cheerleader to come out. Because Mojo on here. So shout out to those of us that have friends that we have known for like over 30 years. So Mojo is on here. We went to elementary school together. Elementary, middle, high school. Yo, and it was a hot yo. Let me tell y'all. So we did not have a lunchroom. How you build a school without a lunchroom? I don't know. So we did not have a lunchroom. So we went home for lunch. And not only that, so you know how most schools... So I'm from Pittsburgh, so we talking Pittsburgh talk. So most schools, you know, you have high school... And I, well, no, we was like all together. And it was a hot mess. It's the check-in. Give me a topic, Mr. Pig. Give me a topic. We just shooting the shit right now. Give me a topic or whatever. So, um, so yeah, y'all. So we ain't had no lunch room. And oh, you said no, you single. Oh. So we ain't had no lunch room, y'all. So that meant we went home for lunch. That was a hot mess. So I was a good girl, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I was a good girl. So I would live down the street from the school. I would go home. My friends, yo, it used to go down at lunchtime, okay? Some people was eating day lunch, wherever. Some people went home. Some people went to other people's house, whatever, because, you know, you live different distances from the school. Yo, yo. It used to go down at lunchtime, okay? People was drinking. People was losing their virginity. Like, crazy. I will never forget my girl. Yo, Mojo, I will never forget when, who was it? Kiki B and Wendy came back and we was in Mr. Moran's class? He is like the meanest teacher in the school and he was the football, he was a football coach and a basketball coach. Yo, these niggas came back to school drunk. The first damn class we got after lunch is algebra. With Mr. Moran, like one of the meanest teachers. Yo, that shit was hilarious. Hilarious. I was like, when I think back, I was like, yo, that is the way. Yo, you know how many babies probably was consumed, conceived at lunchtime? Wowing. People was, yo, we was young. And the thing is, it's sad because we was young. We was like in the seventh grade, like seventh graders messing with seniors, and oh, it was just, it was a travesty. It was a hot mess. But, um, yeah. But like I said, I went home because I was a good girl. I was at home having lunch with my dad. Doop, doop. Which is a, it's half an hour ride, but going. Mm, 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 mm. Chow, chow. Oh, that's good. But yeah, y'all, it used to go down. Yeah, he was a basketball coach. He was so mean. But you know what's funny? Like, your memories, when you think back to, like, your teachers, like, when you was... The, like, teachers used to seem so boss and so fucking mean. And scary. Now, like, man, I can't believe that. I can't believe they used to punk us like that. Oh, six and a half. Oh, yeah, six and a half ain't shit. The topic is me, and you have not been a good girl all your life. Now, see, Mr. Pinch, I never had said that I was a good girl all my life. Because, see, you missed the part whenever I was talking about driving up to, uh, what was we? Oh, I was saying I don't drive like I used to. And we was talking, to, I was talking about how, you know, back in the day, we used to do shit that, like, there ain't no way in this world we would do now. So, what I was saying is that I was always a ride or die chick, but I was like, ride or die, but I was a little bit more ruthless back in the day. Now, I'm still ride or die, but, like, you gotta, you know, you gotta give me the details of the plan. Like, I gotta agree to the shit, like... Back in the day, I might have just been like, all right, I'm down. And don't ask no questions. Life is different now. But, uh, yeah, she, I never said I was a good girl all my life. However, in high school, I was. I was. 
my dad was around. It was, you know, it was serious. Like, we couldn't have boyfriends and all that kind of stuff. So, you know. So, yeah, my dad raised us to be, like, good girls. But then my parents got divorced, and I feel like, I don't know. It's like, like certain, you know how you can look back over your life and realize there's certain points in your life, maybe, like, your younger life where it's, like, uh, arrested development so to speak so yeah so it was like he did a good job but then with, I realized with him and my mom split and it was like I don't know I was like a little left a little half undone so it was like he was real real strict and it was like no boys duh, 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 right so then you live life kind of like sheltered which is okay but then at some point you know what I mean you gotta have somebody walk you through like when you start getting to the part where you not so sheltered you know what I'm saying so yeah so you know I've been a good girl the majority of my life you know but yeah for the most part I'm a good girl you know like my like I had the morals and the mindset of a good girl right but you know I got a little hood in me I'm a little gangster well I wouldn't say hood I'm a little gangster. You know what I'm saying? I'm like a guppy with a gold tooth. You know? Like, not totally and completely, but you know what I mean. Like, I can't hang you. I'll put it like this. Don't let the pretty face fool you. Like, I can definitely hold my own. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, yup. Yeah, she ain't been a good girl or like. But I'm not a bad girl either. I think I'm like a good mix, right? I'm like a good mix. And what I mean by that is, right? You want somebody who, like, yeah, they're experienced. Oh, I just found the perfect way to say it. So you want somebody who is experienced, right? You don't want somebody that's just, like, brand new, brand new. However, you want somebody that's experienced, but not, like, experienced because they've had a whole lot of partners, right? Or they've done a whole lot of shit, right? I've done enough shit to make me spicy. And then there's enough shit that I haven't done so that whoever it is that I'm with can actually be like, wow, like, I can actually give you some first. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can actually be like, oh, daddy, I never did that before. Or like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, in your relationship, you don't want to come in all busted, beat down, like, everybody done already beat the brakes off that ass and all of that. Like, you want to have some reserve, you know? You want to have a little spice, but not too much. And I figure, like, I'm not perfect, you know, I'm not perfect mix. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can go in a boardroom and I can handle my business, you know? I can walk up in the elementary school and get on the floor and start playing with some kids and go in the gym and be uh, dribbling the basketball with some nails on. You know what I'm saying? I can roll up in the hood and be sitting outside with with my clients and they crazy families and just be shooting the shit and talking about everything crazy, right? So I can roll up in the hood with my bands on. Um, but you know what I mean, and then, you know, whenever you come home, then you get a whole nother person, you know? Like I said on my, on my post the other day, you want to be authentic, right? But then you also want to be obscure, like everybody can't know everything. Like, you give them just enough so they can feel your vibe and they can just imagine like, wow, I wonder what it would be like. But you always want to leave people wondering like, ooh, I wonder what it would be like. Because you don't just give them everything. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm... So, I bring, you know, I bring just enough. I bring just enough to let you know I know my stuff. And then also, too, you know, like, I bring... You know, like, I bring newness. I bring, you know, new beginnings. Because I haven't, I haven't done, you know, every single thing. You know what I'm saying? So, I think that's good. Because everybody in a relationship, they want to know that the person that they're with, like, oh, wow, like, I was the first person to do whatever. Whether it's go somewhere, whether it's, whatever the case may be, like, the, that makes those, um, <laughs> spicy. But, um, yeah, I think it's 
Um, I mean, I think every man wants a woman that that he can be proud that that's his woman, right? So that's why I feel like we need to stop settling in our relationships, like really realize like, hey, what is it that I want in a relationship, in a female, whatever the case may be, and actually realize that we can have those things. Like, we be out here settling, and, and for what? And for what? Whenever you can actually really truly have the desires of your heart. You are that ride or die woman now, and I appreciate you for being real at all times. Well, thank you, son. Because I feel like it's just easier to be real, right? Because if I'm real and I'm authentic, I don't have to remember shit. Because I'm just being me. I don't have to remember what I said the other day whenever I was acting like the other bitch, right? I don't have to remember a facade. I'm just me. You're just always going to get me unapologetically. I'm never going to apologize. Never. Ever, ever. Um, and I understand that those that, people that stand in their authenticity, we give other people the courage to do the same, you know? So, yeah, I am always going to be real because I don't have time to be remembering who it is that I was yesterday or what it is that I said whenever I was acting like, when I was uh, acting fake, basically, acting fake. And then also, too, like, if you're authentic, like, if you stand in who it is that you are, nobody can ever say shit about you. No tongue can rise up against you if you already, like, oh, I'll tell my truth. You can't hold anything over my head because, like, I, I'm just me, unapologetically. The other night I came on here, I had a hole in my shirt. I was like, oh, my God. I don't care. Like, if I be like, damn, I got a hole in my shirt. Now I ain't going to talk shit on myself, but I'm going to be real and I'm going to be honest because if I am, then there's nothing that nobody else can say. Now, if I come on here and I got a hole in my shirt and I'm putting on all these airs or whatever, then guess what? People going to be like, oh, she thinks she cute. They're going to say it anyway. They're going to say, oh, she thinks she cute. I don't give a fuck. But they are more likely to be like, oh, she, you know, she thinks she's cute. Da, 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 da. Or if I try to act like I'm better and then you can, you know, basically like nitpick stuff about me then it's just like you know what I mean then you still end up being a laughing stock but if I'm gonna be the laughing stock I'm gonna be the laughing stock because every day I showed up as me unapologetically and if you don't like me I don't care because <laughs> I like me right I love her I love that it in me right hey shit ooh, ooh. hi mama that's one of my sisters. So that's my dance ministry sister because I've had many years dancing on the dance ministry. <laughs> um, but um, but yeah, I just feel like um, being you is just is just easy, right? It's just the easiest thing you can do. However, also because y'all know I always gonna play devil's advocate. But um, also I understand too that um, depending on. Oh, I'm going to say it like this. I understand, too, that where I am now, I haven't always been here, right? And why is that? Because we have people that make us feel less than, right? People that are close to us. We have friends that betray us. And, you know, they're jealous of us. They're envious of us. And, you know, they just put us through some shit. And if we don't have people there to kind of pour into us and be positive and remind us who it is that we are, um, we, tend, we tend to struggle, you know, at certain times in our life. And like I said, um, I'm sending a special prayer out for those who find themselves in a cycle and they find themselves being stagnant. Because the other night, we talked about how depending on your programming, when you were young, you may find that, hey... I can get out of, I'm in this toxic relationship, but within four months, I have the strength to be like, yeah, you know, this is not for me. I'm just going to go ahead and do what it is that I need to do. But say somebody whose programming may be a little bit different. Say they grew up and they were in a home where they were experiencing a lot of trauma. That particular person may not have the same driving force to say, hey, I'm just going to move out of this, right? So they may find themselves in cycles of being stagnant, right? So that's why those of us who have kind of gone through it and um, been through it before, we are here to talk, share our story, be a light in the dark, because I don't ever, you know, like, 
my longest um, marriage was seven years, right? And I learned a lot in that seven years. But I'm like, damn, if I can save somebody some years, some months off of their life, if I can give you the cheat sheet, I'm going to give you the cheat sheet. I don't even let you, I don't even let you look off my paper. You can look off my paper. As long as we pass the test, y'all. As long as we pass the test and we learn the lesson, we're always going to be better. So we're not mad about any relationship that didn't work out. We're not mad about anybody who didn't do us the way that they were supposed to. Because out of every situation, there is a lesson to learn. And as long as we're learning what it is that we were supposed to learn, then, like, we Gucci. Like, fuck what they did. They was just a, they was just a part of... Um, Creating your greatness. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, you guys. So that's my spiel, and I'm sticking to it. Hey, Shelly, Shelly. I saw God's warning with Kay. I don't see your face, but I saw your, your, uh, hurt me up or whatever. So, hey, boo, hey. Um, so yeah, we were talking about, um, communication right we were talking about communication and how it's so much easier to um just have the conversation right um we have so you know what and i'm releasing throat chakras hmm. so do y'all know this is lapis lazuli it is a crystal from ancient egypt and it helps with your throat chakra, right? So people that are uh, speakers, singers, rappers, artists, or whatever, lapis lazuli, lapis lazuli is good for helping with your throat chakra, right? When we have a blocked throat chakra, our communication, we struggle with our communication, right? And um, I think it's so important... Okay, so why do our true... I'm so glad you worded it like that. So, Pinchman said... Let me make sure I finish my thought. Um, yeah, so I want y'all to just go ahead and have the conversations versus... Hey, Miss Joy! Shout out! Shout out to people who have known people for over 30 years. That's why... Childhood BFF's mom, y'all. That's abundance, right? So, um, so, so I encourage you guys to just, um, have the, um, just have the conversation. I don't think we realize we spend so much time and energy in our heads about certain situations that we may say, oh, I don't care, when really we do. And we're sitting and we're bubbling with this energy because we're thinking about it, but we're not dealing with it. And we build all this anxiety around just having the conversation or just having the communication, right? And you look up and it's been four days, five days, six days, seven days, a week, and you're harboring these emotions, right? Versus just like having a conversation, asking a question, right? So, like, it is my, like, it's my hope that we just stop putting so much anxiety around communicating. It's almost like we don't trust ourselves enough to have the conversation, right? Because we normalize, oh, I'm going to snap out and uh, 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 and knock if you buck and, 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 and I got a whole lot of knock if you buck up any because I will knock if you buck, right? But I also trust myself to sit down and be able to have an intellectual conversation with someone, right? But a lot of times we don't give ourselves enough credit or we don't require enough from ourselves to sit down and, and respect each other. Which, well, respect starts with us, right? We don't respect ourselves enough to trust that, hey, I can have a conversation with somebody, whether it's a difficult conversation or not and a lot of times we make it difficult in our own heads before we just sit down right so i want us to just make life easier and stop stuffing and just deal with it like what 
Instead of stuffing this emotion and having a glass of wine, how about I just make the call or do what it is that I need to do or, you know what I'm saying, write the to-do list or, you know, write the goal, finish the goal, whatever the case may be, whatever it is, like, we should just do it, right? Because we don't realize how much energy and time we're burning up stuffing our emotions or procrastinating, right? So let's just get down to it. Let's just get to it. So Pinchman said... Why do all of our true friends always end up turning their back on us? And then he capitalized true, y'all. So first problem is this. If they turn their back on us, was they really a true friend? Maybe not, right? Because a true friend is going to be there regardless. But one might say, I can give you the cliche. One may say, what do they say? Um, people are... Some people are for a season, some people are for a reason, a season, and then some people are for a lifetime, right? So, I don't know, um, I don't know if, I don't know about the lifetime thing, because I do believe that people are around for a season and a reason, and we never, we're never going to keep the same group of people all of our lives, because a lot of times, um... There's multiple reasons for why friends turn our back on us, right? Number one, a lot of times, once we start to elevate, right, and, like, glow up, right, so we're going to have a group of people that's just going to fall by the wayside. Because if you believe what I believe um, about energy and frequencies, low vibrational people, low vibrate low. High vibrational people are up here. Low vibrational people can't vibe on your on your frequency when you're a high vibe person right so that's a lot of times where we experience people turning their back on us because it and this is the thing it's not even that they turn their back on us boo they just they can't even be in our space no more they've been evicted as per our energy your energy did it right so a lot of times that is why we start to lose friends. And I want you guys to look at, you know what I mean? Thank you, daughter. I want us to I want us to heal, right? By changing. And I'm going to go into mm -hmm. So y'all go in like a year or so, y'all going to be like, I remember when she used to come on here now I still be doing lives. Y'all going to be like, "Oh my god, I remember when you used to talk about all this stuff. I remember when. I remember when." So y'all better remember me. Right? Because she about to get this money, honey. Because I am obedient to God. And whatever it is I do, I'm doing it for the greater good of all. So I told him that since he told me who I was, and he let me know everything that was in me, I told him I would never shut up. I told him I'd be obedient. And I told him he can trust me. He can trust me. Right? So, I am here because I want people to heal. I want people to heal through whatever, whatever it is that you've been through, right? I want you to realize that whatever it is that you went through is not a cliche when I say whatever it is that you went through made you who it is that you are now. So, we do not shade anybody. We respect everybody. Um, the only thing I ask here on Queen Dream Queen is that you are accountable for your shit, right? Like, be accountable for your shit. Be accountable for your part. Like, what did you need to do, right? And I don't necessarily ascribe to the fact of, I'm not toxic, you're toxic. Or, I don't necessarily ascribe to that. I feel like we all need to heal, right? And unhealedness comes out in toxic behavior. So, really, we need to heal, right? I want us to um, get down to the root. Like, figure out, like, what it really is. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop blowing up on people around us that don't have anything to do with the emotion that we are feeling. Like, we just need to, like, slow down. And the thing is, the great thing is, a lot of us did that. Like, that's what we've been doing all 2020, this goddamn quarantine. 
we've been going with them. We've been slowing down. We've been connecting with our emotions, connecting with our bodies, so we know what it is that we feel when negative energies come in our space, when good energies come in our space. Why? Because we're centered. We're in our body. We're thinking about what we're thinking. Like we know, like I know when I get goosebumps all over. Why? Because I'm in my body at all times. I know what I'm feeling. I know what I'm seeing. I know what I'm smelling. I know what I'm hearing. Right? That's a fancy, that's mindfulness. You know how to be like mindfulness therapy and it sounds like all big. Hey, Mr. Harris. But basically that's, that's all it is. And that, my friends, that's the beginning of you really starting to tap into your intuitive gifts, right? Because a lot of us have dealt with um, people that are narcissistic. And that's another reason why it's not that easy to get out of our relationships because... If you're in a relationship with a narcissist, it is very, 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 very um, hard to get out of that emotional, manipulative um, entanglement, right? Um, so, yeah, so depending on our programming, depending on how it is that we built in the head and we not shading nobody, but um, all of that, you know, determines how it is that we do what we do. So we lose friends because we start to elevate and they no longer... Um, can stay in our energy, our vibes get high, and we start a victim of fuckers out our energy. Um, so most times that's what it is, right? Um, and then also, too, we have to remember that um, some of our friends are um, there to teach us a lesson. So those friends, too. It's 10, 10, 10, 10 on the clock, 10, 10 on the clock, 10, 10 on the clock, 10, 10 on the clock. So 10, 10, 10, 10 is one of my angel numbers, but it's a uh, symbolic of um, closing out cycles. So closing out cycles and um, stepping into new cycles or whatever. So, um, yeah. You know what, daughter? Do me a favor, boo. Can you Google 1010? I use, I normally use my, uh, app. I know I post 1010 all the time. Boo, um, search. Oh, no. You know what? I could do it right here. But, um, yeah, you guys. Yo, so y'all know I'm eating healthy, right? So let me tell y'all what I got. This is hummus, but it is carrot cake. Carrot cake hummus with my honey wheat uh, pretzels or whatever. So, um, yeah, you guys. So, oh, y'all know I posted something yesterday about, um, we talked about Dr. Saving. <laughs> we talked about Dr. Saving. We talked about Dr. Saving last night, right? So, um. Um, we talked about Dr. Savy. So I posted some Dr. Savy stuff on my page. So make sure y'all check that out. Make sure y'all are eating healthy. I'm about to tell y'all what Tin Tin means. And then I'm going to get on out of here. I hope y'all booed up on a Friday night. I hope y'all boot up on a Friday night. I'm missing y'all love and light or whatever. Um, what else? We want to make it a courageous Friday, right? Um, we want to make sure we are breaking toxic cycles. And even those friends that we have to let go, right? We know that God is... Hold on, y'all. I got focus because I can't even... Apparently. Four-digit ping. Could not get that mug in there. So, um... So, yeah, we know and understand. We know and understand. Boo, I can't... Boo, you gotta put it in the stand. Um, yeah, you guys, so understand that certain friends are there to teach us a lesson. A lot of times, some type of lesson about self-love 
or um, some deeper level of um, authenticity that we may need to reach, okay? Um, so that is why, that's why we lose friends, y'all. Because um, some people are here for a season and a lifetime. And I don't know how many of us got lifers. I got some close to lifers, right? But, um, you guys. Mm. I'm trying to look up 1010 for y'all. Okay. Thank you, daughter. Thank you, daughter. Uh, uh, uh. He said so high, high, high. Everything is a high, high for me. Girl. Yo, how many people be singing it after the breakup? My life is empty without you, girl. Damn. He said, All she think about is how to take his last. Shame, shame. That's what I want to talk about. Yo, why are we fighting out here? So, daughter said 10 10 is. <laughs> she like, nigga, yeah, right. <laughs> Boo, and you know I got 10 10. I probably got so many shots of 10 10 on my phone, which is weird. I be seeing so many numbers. Like, I be remembering in pot, but sometimes I want to know the whole thing. So let's read it. 10 10 is about moving towards towards your higher purpose in life and trust the universe and what it has in store you guys y'all ain't ready for me when I come on with my mic from uh, uh, uh. y'all is not ready for me in my is this thing on? <laughs> Yo, that is an insider from my uh my old job. But yeah, you guys, so y'all was on here when it was 10 10. I, how many nights we had and it was 10 10? At least like two or three nights y'all was on here one morning. Um, so 10 10 is about moving into your higher purpose, right? And trusting it. So, yo, y'all, that was confirmation. That was confirmation. Because I had just, I was just saying, trust you, give, all that, all that, all that. So then God came with the confirmation. That's why I love angel numbers. People try to act like, um, people try to act like because you implement other things into your spirituality that you're replacing, um, replacing God with certain things, but, um, they say those things out of ignorance because they don't know any better. But, um, yo, how about I heard that, um, yo, are you serious? Because we had a, uh, we had an 11 11 night. That's the night my phone's on. And 10, 10 on the clock, 10, 10 on the clock. I feel like I done did that. Yeah, at least four or five times. Uh, we had a 12, 12. We had a 12, 12 too, right? You, you, you know. Yo, we on the universe's mind or whatever. What we gonna do? J. Cole. Jacob, no, I want to hear. 
Yo, somebody had me search most deaf. I was hyped. I'm like, yo, I want you to be listening to that you want them from. No, you know what? We should do some. Wale. What Wale got this good? I'm going to give y'all some Wale. That's going to be my going out uh, music. Let me see. Uh, Do y'all ever watch um NPR Tiny Desk? It's the shit's naive. Wale. Tiny Desk. So, Tiny Dust is in D.C., right? And it's like this little... It looks like a little library or something like that. But um, people go there and perform. And it's... it's I, just, I love live... Um, yo, they are playing Justin Bieber. Ain't nobody say no goddamn Justin Bieber! Yo. Ain't nobody say no dang on... Justin Bieber. But, um, yeah, you guys. So, I don't love it because it's, uh, it's live. Yo, they really got Justin Bieber up in here on my TV. Yo, and he got the nerd to kind of look like a little gangster with it. He all teddy, all teddy. All right, y'all. So we about to get a little here. So yeah, y'all. We about to get out of here. We gonna take it down. <laughs> Yo, this is my ish, okay? So we gonna take it down for y'all. Nice and easy. Who yes, you know. oh, boo? Most deaf? Your name is Beauty in the Dark. He said, My name is Black. Dante? That sounds like a chocolate sexy motherfucker, right? Mm. He said, I've been watching and waiting all night long. Oh my God, right. How can I? Be Yo, daughter, you is a baby, 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 baby. I don't even know what it meant most death. Another sync, y'all. So remember, we was talking about communication. Listen to the song, y'all. It says, "Speak your mind through you." How many people, right? It be the remix, right, with the sample, but you, <laughs> but you still sing over the song with the old song. Did y'all hear me just? Just go into the old song. Ow. Ow. I want to. Yo, I keep doing it. I've been watching. I'm waiting. <laughs> Yo, I keep wanting to sing the Asley Brothers. My name is Black Dante. <laughs> and I'm so happy you came my way. Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Beauty in the Dark. He said, take my hand and baby, at least give me this one dance. Oh, well, maybe just one. <laughs> my name is Black Dante. Yo, if that Yo, I haven't decided if I'm gonna stop saying the word nigga. Cause I still like it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So if that nigga be like my name Black Dante, you know your ass is about to get dicked. <laughs> you know your ass is about to get dicked down, okay? <laughs> Oh, 
No, baby, baby, what's up? He said, baby, baby, please. Please, baby, baby, please. My name is Black Dante. Well, me, my name is Beauty in the Dark. <laughs> Y'all wrong. He said, baby, 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 please. And then Meg said, I make him cry for the pussy. That's probably why my shit's so wet. <laughs> Yo. Yo, I can't get enough of a man that would. My name Black Don't Tame. Yo, I'm scared. I'm scared. Like, he sound like he about to come with the Shaka Zulu. Like, get in the shower. This is Black Dante. <laughs> Ooh. Yo, so I'm out of here, y'all. Y'all ain't gonna have me on here online. Y'all, I never did find Wale. Or do we want to do? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go out to some. I'm gonna go out to this. All right, y'all. So, um, yeah. So it's Friday. So I will be back tomorrow. Is Saturday. I probably won't be on here tomorrow. But um, I will be back. Definitely Monday night for Queen TV at the dog or whatever. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe Sunday. I don't know. But definitely Monday. All right. So I just want to shout out everybody who came on here to hang out with me. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Um, I appreciate the love. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all gotta come on here and hang out with me and listen to me talk my shit. But y'all do, and I appreciate y'all so much for all that. So, uh, share the video. Be good to each other. Drink your water. Eat good food. Green stuff, right? Uh, no processed foods. Because processed foods fuck up your downloads. But did y'all know the healthier y'all eat, the easier it is for your uh, spiritual downloads to come in? So I need y'all to be eating healthy. Lots of water. Lots of green stuff, okay? And I want y'all to be the love that you want to receive. Like, really think about what it is that you want, right? Like, what, is, what does love look like to you? Because this is the thing. You don't have to... All you got to do is make God happy... And make yourself happy, right? So with that, there's things that make us happy. You need to be figuring out what your happy is, okay? You need to be figuring out what your happy is and you need to be going after it. Because guess what? If you are up under the sound of my voice, you can have whatever it is that you say. You know how I know? Because God sent me here to tell y'all. So, I don't want y'all sleeping on y'all dreams. I want y'all to feel like... I want y'all to feel immortal. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Yo, he said, I don't want to make love. You know I'm a thug. so very 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 much um i just want to remind y'all to walk like a king walk like a queen or whatever and even if your crown gets a little bit crooked just straighten that bitch up and just keep on stepping you know what i'm saying so i love you guys and i will see you wonderful beautiful and amazing people on monday